Yeah. All right, we're live. How's it going everybody? Welcome back. We're going to go over the workout for Tuesday, April 21st. So if you did Monday's workout, nice long conditioning piece, right? We had a 20 minute am right? So today we're going to kind of flip that. Yes, it's going to be a longer piece, but it's going to be more strength oriented today than it is going to be really getting our heart rates up. So what it's going to be is a 24 minute EMA, so every minute on the minute, there's going to be four different stations of movements for you to go through. Okay, the first thing we have is going to be 8 to 12 RDLs at a tempo. Okay, so if we have our bar, what we're going to do is we're going to stand that bar all the way up. Okay, we're going to put a little bit of the knee in. Our tempo is going to be three seconds down, so we hinge at the hips. One, two, three, four, one and explode back up. Okay, so three down, two, three, one second pause, flat back, then exploding up, nice and tall. Okay, so for this, you can use a barbell, you can use a kettlebell, doesn't matter to us, you're going eight to 12 reps of the RDL. Next, we have red and eight rows. So you can use a dumbbell for this, okay, where you get into a plank position, a little wider with those feet, my hips are down, I'm going to take that dumbbell, I'm going to rub it into my rib cage, and then back in line with my hands each time. So I'm here, coming back down, so 8 to 12 on one side, 8 to 12 on the other. If you don't have a dumbbell and you have a kettlebell, that's a little harder to balance on, so what you can do is just a single arm row, maybe find a bench or a wall to lean against, okay? This leg goes back into my left arm. I'm going to do is put that back flat, pull it into our rib cage. Same thing though, we're going 8 to 12 per arm within that minute. You've got to do both arms within that minute. Minute 3, we have a glute bridge march. 30 reps here. So our starting position, heels are going to be nice and close to my butt. I'm going to get into a glute bridge where I drive my hips up to the ceiling. So holding this position, all I'm going to do is now pull one knee up to my chest. Okay, then coming back down. Knee up to my chest, coming back down. So we're gonna go 15 each side. Notice how my hips don't dip down at all. So you don't want to lift one leg up and your hips come down. You want to really keep that good glute bridge the entire time. So it's 30 reps total there, 15 per side. Last, we have body saws, 8 to 12. So if you have a foam roller, you can get set up on that. Another way to do this is with a towel, right on a hardwood floor, slippery surface, same concept. So we'll get our feet on that roller. Okay, we're gonna get to a plank position. So we're gonna go on our elbows today. We're gonna get, squeeze the butt, get those hips up. The goal is to rock back as far as you can go without extending, right, or losing that core tension. I'll show you what it looks like. So here, squeeze my butt. Squeeze my abs, I push back, keep that back flat, and then come back forward. Okay, what I don't want to see is that. Right? As soon as those hips start to sag, right, we've lost that tension through our midline. So range of motion isn't as important as just being controlled with that core. Okay, if we don't have anything to slide our feet on, we can just do reverse plank walkout. So do the same concept, our feet are on the ground, and then walk back. Those toes, as far as I can go, keep my core tight, and then I'm just going to walk them back up just to neutral each time. Okay, 8 to 12 reps in. So 24 minute EMA, minute 1, here 8 to 12 RDLs. Minute 2, 8 to 12 with a renegade row or bent over row. Minute 3, 30 glute bridge march, or that's going to be 15 per leg. And minute four, our eight to 12 body saws or reverse plank walks. Very strength oriented today. If you guys still feel like you need to get a little bit of a conditioning fix in, we would suggest pulling maybe the test from week one or part of week two's engine program, right? So that can be found in your guys' email and it can also be found on our website. That'd be a good thing for you guys to sprinkle in at the end. 